Hi, and welcome to the fourth clip of the module six of Global Trends and Internationalization. In this clip, I will be talking about convenience trends in food production and consumption. Hi, I'm Robert Nissen, Research Fellow at the University of Tasmania, and I'll be presenting this material prepared by Dr. Sharon Forbes, Senior Lecturer, Lincoln University, New Zealand. Today's lecture focuses on another key consumer trend, the need for convenience. When it comes to food, this trend will often trump the health and wellness trend we have previously discussed. Think about the behaviour of a consumer who has a long day at work and can't even begin to think about what is for dinner, let alone find the time and energy to actually cook something. So this trend exists for a number of reasons. Firstly, people are working longer hours in addition to more women up working outside the home. There is a growing middle class population globally too who want more Western diet. And we are seeing an increased amount of food being eaten away from home. This might be breakfast or lunch at the office desk. Something consumed while striving to and from activities or an evening meal in a restaurant setting. The convenience trend results in a number of demands from consumers. Firstly, they want convenience foods that can be eaten whilst moving. This includes options that don't spill or drip and that can be held one-handed whilst driving. Secondly, they want convenience foods that allow them to still do some home cooking, but with much less effort and time. Consumers are also looking for convenience foods that are more healthier than traditional options, such as McDonald's or fish and chips. This would include ready meals that just require heating at home before eating. There is no doubt that marketers are responding to this convenience trend. In particular, there have been innovations in terms of both distribution and product strategies. For example, there are many new products available that consumers may consume whilst moving. These include snack bars and ready-made smoothies that can be consumed whilst commuting to and from work. Increasingly, we are seeing a blur of the lines between snack products and meal solutions. And one of the reasons this is happening is that many consumers are simply too busy to sit down and eat a large meal at any point during the day. Instead, they are more likely to graze on a number of smaller size products that can serve as either a snack or meal. We are also seeing that marketers are supplying products that can help reduce the chore of home cooking. More on these in the next slide. Marketers are also supplying an ever-increasing range of ready meals to completely replace home-cooked options. Often these are picked up by busy consumers from an increasing number of smaller convenient stores on their way home from the office. Finally, some of the new convenience products that marketers are launching also address the health and wellness trend too. In May 2017, Amazon Fresh announced a new pickup option for their customers in some of their Seattle stores. This free service is expected to be rolled out to other Amazon Fresh stores across the United States in the coming months. The service allows Amazon Fresh customers to order groceries with no minimum order size and reserve a pickup time with as little as 15 minutes notice. The Amazon Fresh staff select and pack the items and bring them out to customers in their cars at the agreed pickup times. Competitors such as Walmart and others are looking to follow suit. So why has this service been started? Because consumers are busy people with little time for chores such as grocery shopping. They simply have to turn up, probably whilst on their way home from work, to pick up that night's dinner. So it takes no longer than going through a McDonald's or Burger King drive through window. But changes are the food products will be somewhat healthier options. This slide shows a picture of the online order service from Whole Foods in the US. You can see that customers are able to order their groceries online and have them delivered in just one hour. Again, this service saves the precious time of consumers and is a convenient option 
for them in terms of bringing healthy foods into their homes. So the last two examples from the marketplace relate to food distribution channels and how they can operate to offer greater convenience to consumers. Here are some more examples of innovative or differentiated distribution channels that serve the growing market segment looking for convenience foods. At the top is the recent announcement that Uber Eats service will start operating in Auckland, New Zealand. This service is already offered in many cities around the world and gives customers the ability to eat restaurant meals delivered to their homes. To the left is a photograph of the New Zealand food delivery service My Food Bag. This business distributes various bags of foods to New Zealand customers each week, along with recipes, cards which demonstrate how to prepare and cook the ingredients. Options include gourmet bags, vegetarian bags, family bags, gluten-free bags, fresh start for weight loss, and even school lunch bags. Customers order online and bags are delivered on Sundays. Not only is the food delivered convenient for customers, but they also don't need to answer the what's for dinner question. The third photo relates to a Danish business, Astrodyne which started delivering wooden boxes of organic vegetables to customers in 1999. Today, they deliver 55,000 households in Denmark and Sweden, and the boxes are now include fruit, fish and meats, as well as recipe ideas. Consumers order online and the boxes are delivered to their doors. This slide shows some actual food products available in various parts of the world. What is illustrated here are products that are helped to reduce the time it takes the consumer to prepare and cook a meal. So these are food products that appeal to consumers on the basis of convenience. In addition, the home cook will still feel like he or she is physically cooking and providing a meal for their household, but with a lot less time and effort. These examples include diced onion for sale in Whole Foods, stores in the United States. It seems quite strange that consumers might choose to buy this product and probably pay a premium price for it over buying a whole onion and chopping it themselves. But this is product saves time and tears too. Other products here are ready to cook vegetarian kebabs, a packet of pre-cut fresh vegetables ready for tuning into it turning into a soup peeled and sliced avocado, and a selection of pre-cut vegetables ready for streaming, boiling or stir-frying by the home cook. The last product is another that is sold in the US. This is a pouch of frozen strawberries and bananas. This product is largely aimed at the growing segment of consumers who make smoothies, usually at breakfast time. So the product itself is convenient, but the end result is too, as smoothies can be consumed on the run. So the last group of products provide a level of convenience to someone who still wanted to produce a meal at home. This slide illustrates convenient food products which entirely replace a home cooked meal. These are examples of simple heat and serve ready meals. These products typically come in either fresh chilled or frozen options in stores and offer total convenience to busy consumers. Most of these products will simply need to be heated in the microwave and thus can be ready in a matter of minutes. They take the chore out of making a meal or snack and thus popular option with busy working people. These types of products increasingly being sold in smaller convenience stores. An example is the Tesco Metro stores in the UK. The Tesco Metro stores are located in large cities typically beside transportation centres. This means that busy commuters can call into a store next to their train station and pick up a meal and a beverage to go with it on their way home after a long day at work. This might sound a little strange to us to understand, but this is increasingly the way that consumers are dining in the Northern Hemisphere. There are several take-home messages from today's lecture. Firstly, it is very clear that consumers in both developed and developing nations are leading busy lives and therefore have less time for chores, including the production of snacks and meals at home. 
This has led to increasing demand for fruit products that offer convenience. Secondly, you will only need to walk around a supermarket to see that food producers and marketers are responding to this need for convenience. There are an ever increasing array of products to help those who still want to produce a snack or meal at home and alternatively, hundreds of products that can completely replace home cooking altogether. In some instances, marketers are trying to provide healthiness alongside convenience in these products. In recent times, we are also witnessing some massive innovation in terms of food distribution channels. These alternatives are being offered to consumer in the order to meet the need for convenience. So what does this mean for horticultural producers? There are opportunities to be had from focusing on either product or distribution strategies that will address the convenience trend. Thank you.